Welcome, my name is Marcus, and today we're going to be creating this. So now we're back here in After Effects, and I got this simple text doing absolutely nothing. It's a lazy piece of cheese. So I'm just going to animate this thing real quick. So go into text, and I'm going to click on animate and tracking. So we can animate the tracking of the text. So let's go in here to tracking. Whoops, tracking amount. Let's set it zero. It's fine. And at the beginning, it can be quite close, something like this. So it just stretches out over time. Then I'm even going to go down here into transform and keyframe scale. I'm going to scale it down a smidge, maybe 90, something like this. And then just mm, slowly scales up. I'm going to click on the layer. I'm going to press U so that it only shows us the keyframe properties. I'm going to select this top keyframe here and I'm going to go into the graph editor here. I'm going to just uh, pull this thing down. Whoopsie daisy. And I'm just going to pull this thing down and uh, ease, it, ease it in, something like this. And the beginning, I'm just going to squash to the left. So it's going to start really fast and it's going to slowly reach its maximum value over time. That's what this is doing. It's a visual representation of the easing of the value that is being changed. So I'm going to go down into scale and do the exact same thing. I'm going to pull this down all the way down here, stretch it, and same with the beginning, squash it. So it starts fast and slowly reaches the maximum value. So now we're gonna set up the main control for this effect. So go up here into layer, new, solid, and I'm gonna call this noise, bam. And I actually wanna pre-comp these two things in a second. I want this to be one singular thing. So first of all, I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna put it here on top, I'm gonna call it noise underscore control. I'm gonna apply a fractal noise to it. Double click. And now I'm gonna click on this noise, edit, copy with property links. I'm gonna paste it onto this noise. So now this noise is, or this effect is gonna follow this effect all the time. So I'm gonna hide this and I'm gonna select the, the text and the noise and I'm gonna pre-compose it. So control shift C and pre-compose. So I'm gonna call this noise mm, text, something like this. Bam, I'm going down. So now we're going up here into the main composition here. So now we got some really cheesy cheese going on here. So let's start by maybe scaling this thing up a bit, something like this. I'm gonna decrease the complexity, something like this. So we got a little bit more of a simplified noise. So now let's start by creating the actual effect. So let's click on noise and text here and let's start applying a posturize. So the cool thing about posturize is it actually takes the value and clumps them together based on luminance. So you know, if everything is within, let's say 50 and 60% luminance, it's just gonna clump it all into one color. And you can control how many steps this has. So we can take it down to three if we wanted to. So you can see it becomes quite simple. It's basically probably just zero, 50 and 100. And that way you can create really your really own look in this thing, right? Next step is that we wanna find the edges of this effect. We wanted to only trace the contrast. So let's go over here into effects. Let's write, find me some edges, find edges. See, now we got some already some cool graphic style thing going on. So we can actually also do something with this. That would be quite interesting, but I'm going to set it to invert. So we only get the, the lines and not the, the black or the shape. And now we're going to apply a unmalt effects. I will link to this in the description. It's free some places. That is going to delete the black from the frame. If I turn on transparency and I deactivate unmalt, you can see it's actually taking away the black part. So now we're going to go over here into effects and apply a simple choke. There we go. And we're going to choke it a little bit outwards. Let's say, let's just choke up, but you can see nothing's happening because it's actually just uh, choking black color instead of the white color. And we wanted to retain the color that we want. So let's apply a fill effect, double click, set this to white because it's easier to control. Let's go down and disable transparency. So you can play around with this. I'm just gonna set it to about uh, 15. So it's still, it merges a bit when it touches other contrast edges, which I like. And I'm even going to increase the, the scale of the noise a bit, something like this. So now we're going to apply another effect called Echo. Echo is the bomb. 
if you click on this. So Acro is going to look at each frame that came before and duplicate it behind the most, uh, the newest frame, so to speak. So now it's not doing much because we don't have any copies. Well, we just have that one copy. So I'm going to set this to 20. And see, now you can already see the text. It's actually duplicating it across time. But the noise is not doing anything. So let's let's change this a bit. So let's go over into second seven. So let's decrease the brightness until the cheese logo is completely visible and there are no other lines present. So something along this line here. I'm going to set a keyframe on the brightness. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning of the composition. I'm going to increase the brightness until the text is completely gone, as you can see here. So now we start to see some interesting things happening. It's a very thick shape that's appearing. So how can we make this more interesting? So let's go into the echo effect here. Let's let's increase it all the way up to 0.06 so that it uh, so that there's a longer delay between each line. As you can see here, it's really starting to look weird in the best possible way. And we're going to uh, set the decay to 0, 0,8. Whoops, uh, 8. So see, now we're getting this nice weird gradient that follows along all the way. So now, already now we can see some real psychedelic looking effects. And now let's start applying a solid composite because we want this to have a full alpha. Because if we deactivate solid composite, you can see we still have white on nothing. And we want it to have a black background so, we, so that we can control the colors. Now we're going to apply a CC toner because we want to apply some colors on this bad boy. Let's set this to Pentone. Let's start playing around with this bad boy here. So let's apply some nice yellow, something like this, maybe even quite saturated, maybe some maybe some nice magenta here and, and maybe some 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 cyan. I mean, come on, who doesn't like cyan? And maybe even, you know what, maybe even some dark blue. So see, now we got ourselves some nice psychedelic looking effects. I mean, come on, who doesn't like some psychedelic looking effects? You can even increase the like, uh, say, amount of copies so that it, it uh, lasts for longer. You can increase the distance, maybe up to eight, something like this. So you can see the, the wave actually takes much longer to reach something like this, right? And if we think that it actually has too many uh, like iterations, too many waves, you can go up into posturize and set it down to three. So see, now it actually has less uh, iterations of the noise appearing or less waves that start generating, but they're quite larger and more contrasted. So already something like this is interesting, right? Boom, 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 boom. So if you also want like a, a background to appear behind this uh, noise thing, you can actually just duplicate this noise. Just call it BG. I'm just going to delete everything, actually. I'm going to isolate this so we only can see this noise. I'm going to apply a tint effect on it, and then I'm going to apply a unmalt effect on it, and then I'm going to apply another tint effect on it. I'm going to set the white to be like a dark purple thing, something like this. So now it's going to reveal this purpleness across the entire scene, but we can't see it because the layer on top of it is well, it's covering for it. So we're just going to apply another unmalt to this effect. So see, now it's actually revealing this uh, purple. Actually, right now it's taking it away, but we can invert that by swapping the colors on the background. So see, now it's just revealing this purpleness instead. Mmm, purpleness. So to fill the letters in, I'm going to duplicate this noise and text bad boy here. Come just select all these effects and minimize them. I'm going to deactivate posturize and find edges. So to get the text to appear, I'm just going to rename this text with a big T. So to get this text to appear at the end or to fill out basically like it's doing right there. Uh, the problem is right now it's just taking all the luminance that it has, right? So it, if we don't find the edges, it's just going to fill the entire frame with those colors. We don't actually want that. So instead, we're going to go over here and we're going to say extracts. Where are you? There we go. I'm going to apply this right before the unmold. I'm going to uh, isolate this layer here for a second. I'm just going to take almost all the black, all the black away. So it's almost just the letters that are left. So something along these lines, and then just soften it out a smidge, something like this. 
now we can basically, let's say at second eight, we can keyframe this simple choker. So let's just keyframe, whoops, only the choke mat, choke mat. We go to five seconds or something and we can just choke the living crap out of it. Something like this. There we go. There we go. It's all dissipating now. All right. I'm going to set this to be the in point. So Alt I. I show how I modify uh, shortcuts in After Effects in my uh, Quick Tips Volume 1 video. So if you want to modify stuff, you can look at it there. And see, right now, it just it uh, is slowly melting in this uh, extra letters here. So now, if we just see the entire thing, it's just going to do this nice cascading, coalescing, psychedelic thingamabob, thingamajig in your face while it's animating. I mean, come on, if that isn't psychedelic, I don't know what is. Mmm, cheese. There we go. Not only that, this has a lot of potential. So in terms of colors and stuff like this, you can easily go into the CC toner and just actually deactivate this. You can apply maybe another effect, which I really love, which is called Colorama, for example. So you can, in Colorama, under Output Cycle, you can maybe choose Fire, put it below the Unmold here. Now look at this. Look at the sexiness. I mean, come on, look at those colors. So you can really play around with how you're remapping the color values to these luminance values. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see what you guys can create with this uh, weird growing psychedelic uh, technique here. I look forward to seeing your comments and your feedback about this. So you know what? Have a wonderful day with some cheese.